What's going on YouTube? This is Jonathan with TLD. This week's must-have Mac app is called Better Touch Tool. What this is, it's a program that will allow you to take control over your multi-touch trackpad on your MacBook Pro. It's really, to be honest, what Apple should have included. I think it's very limited and they're really not taking advantage of the multi-touch trackpad capability. So this will let you do that. You guys can see you have an array of settings up here. There is a Magic Mouse pre preset. Now this is the, the touchpad version, so I will do a Magic Mouse version later down the road. I'm going to do the touchpad for you MacBook users today. If you guys take a look right here, you guys can create presets for different applications. I have a global one going right now. If you guys like this, I'm going to show you all the functions I have set up right now. Like I said, if you guys like this, go ahead and leave me a message on Facebook and I'll email you the preset if you guys want to uh, kind of mess around with it. So I have a little bit of a preset going up here. Um, I'm going to run you guys through it. Actually, let me show you first. Uh, if you guys want to add a gesture, it's uh, simple like that. You guys go ahead and do this. Um, you can go ahead and select the touchpad gesture right here. They have a crap load of them, um, if you guys can see, from singles to threes to fours, uh, up to fives if you want. They even have some weird ones like triangle swipe. Um, but the cool thing is, if you're not sure what it is, um, they added an update where it'll show you the movement right here. So I think that's a very cool feature, just in case you're not sure what it is. Um, beyond that, let's go ahead and jump into the actual functions. Um, I have it set up right now. I really like Dashboard, um, but it's a kind of a pain in the butt to go down to the Finder and open it up. So I have it to the single right corner right now. This is a single touch. You guys take a look. Um, so that one works pretty good. I actually clicked it right there. Um, but you guys can see that opens up the Dashboard. Uh, that's pretty cool right there. This one's really fun right here. I have uh, the brightness going set to down if you scroll three fingers down and then three fingers up is actually going to move it back up. So that's a cool way to control the brightness and just the same way three fingers left is going to control the volume and three fingers right is going to turn it back up. So that's a really neat trick to do that and I really have a lot of fun with this. So expose I'm a huge fan of. Um, let me turn the brightness back up for myself. Um, you guys can see right here, three finger tap, and it's going to bring expose up. So if you have a lot of windows open and it's cluttered, this is a great way to eliminate clutter and kind of eliminate some of the chaos. So as we get back here, you guys can see I also have um, spaces set up. This is called tip tap. So tip tap is when you have two fingers down, tap it, and that's going to bring up spaces. And the last one I'm going to show you guys is uh, application switcher. So it's the same thing kind of like spaces, tip tap, have two fingers down and you swipe right. And then from there you can pick the application. So that pretty much sums up this program. Um, I, I'm a huge fan of it and I really want to get into utilizing it for different programs. So I, I think in the future I'm going to set it up for Final Cut Pro, Logic, GarageBand, and things like that. So stay tuned for that. Um, as always, I'm going to post the link to download in the sidebar. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this program. I think you're going to have a lot of fun with it and I'll see you guys next Friday.